The winner of the next one is hopeful, the American Canoe Association, Shay Hatch. That's video right there of our next guest, who was one of the winners of the next Olympic hopeful, a grueling TV show that follows athletes going through Team USA's training camp. And it looks pretty rigorous there. I don't even know if I'd be able to get into that boat or whatever. <laughs> anyway, joining us this morning, and it's from Fort Gibson, our very, Fort Gibson's very own Shay Hatchet. Thanks so much for being here with us. You said it's nothing really a big deal for you to wake up this early though because you're used to training. Yeah, I am used to training. Wow. So on the show, uh, you were selected to train in uh, sprint kayaking, but yes. that's not originally uh, what your background was. No, I have a background in gymnastics, soccer, cheer track. I did rowing in college and so I was used to being on the water. Gotcha. So, yeah. So it just kind of you naturally fell into it. How did you get into sprint kayaking? Yeah, so <laughs> through the TV show, The Next Olympic Hopeful, it's a scouting camp, and it's basically looking at, it's a talent identification program that is looking for talent outside of the normal recruiting processes. So gotcha. that's kind of how I got involved with it. I was picked out of 90 athletes to be one of the eight winners. Wow, that's incredible, show. yeah. Next Olympic Hopeful is a show that aired on NBC Sports over uh, the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, got some pictures from it there. And, and now you started out uh, as one of 3,500 applicants. Like you said, 90 were selected to go on the show. Just kind of talk about that experience and, and kind of what that whole process was like for you. Yeah, so I graduated college from the University of Central Oklahoma in Edmond. And that was in May of 2018. And then after that, I was like every other senior in college, like, what's next? Yeah, what do I do now? <laughs> yes, and so I applied for the next Olympic Hopeful because I've always had an Olympic dream and ended up getting accepted out of almost 4,000 applicants. So yeah. that was an honor in and of itself. It was a dream to go to the Olympic Training Center and train. So. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, to be picked as a winner for the sport of sprint kayaking, something I've never done before, has been a huge change in my life, but it's been a positive change. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then, you know, after the show, uh, you moved to Georgia to train yes. uh, for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And uh, I think we have some video of your, your time there uh, with the uh, team camp. So how, how was that training? I mean, I, mean, I can't imagine, you know, the, the stamina that you have to have to, to get through these things. You know, did, how, how hard was it and what, what kind of surprised you about being there? Yeah, so my coach just keeps telling me, you know, I'm waiting for you to plateau. You know, because <laughs> You're just getting better and better and better. I, I yeah. keep climbing because this is such a new process. You know, they've never had an athlete come from different backgrounds and try to make them into an Olympic athlete, you yeah. know, in a short couple short years. So uh, this is a different process, but it's an, an exciting process for sure. Yeah, and so what's next for you? When is qualifying? You know, how does all of that work? What's the next step? Yeah, so I actually leave for a training camp in San Diego, California. California to train with some of the national team members uh, and that is from January 1st through the 7th and then right after that I go back to Gainesville, Georgia and I train full time until national trials which is going to be held in Oklahoma City at the River Boathouse Center there at the Olympic yeah. training site and that's going to be April 12th, the weekend of April 12th. Wow, so a, a real busy uh, spring for you there. Yes. Well, we wish you the best of luck and also Thank if you, you want to uh, follow Shay's journey through all of this. Uh, you can follow her on social media. You want to kind of talk about some of the ways folks can follow you and get in touch with you there? Yeah, so financial struggles are a lot of stress for elite and Olympic athletes. So uh, if anybody wants to donate or be a sponsor, they can contact me through Instagram at Shay, McKin or Shay Mac is my Instagram handle. It's uh, M-A-C-K. And uh, yeah, you can follow me there and find the link to the GoFundMe. Awesome. Well, yeah. thanks again for, and like we said, waking up early isn't a big deal for you, but thanks for coming into our studio this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Once again, Shay Hatchett, the next Olympic hopeful. Maybe you might be seeing her on the Olympics one day winning a gold medal. Who knows? <laughs> thanks for being here with us.